Good afternoon. It's another day in the Flatlander shop. And this morning I finished building a three tube bag. Uh, kind of crazy that it's taken me this long to do an overview on a three tube bag because it is the number one most popular bag that I build. I build. It's just my most popular size overall. So let me get the two tube that's getting worked on right now out of the way. And I'll show you this one. So like, uh, like always, this bag is built for a customer and they have uh, a couple of options on it and they went with gray grid stitching and they went with gray edge trim. And like you've seen in my other videos, uh, my bags have an adjustable and uh, removable shoulder strap. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. Okay, give you some approximate dimensions on this bag. It's around 10 inches in width, about 10 inches in height, and the main bag compartment here is around three and three quarter inches from front to back. And this bag, the three tube has a removable front pouch. Again, it measures around 10 inches in width, about four and a half inches in height and around three inches front to back and I've showed this before but I'll do it again the front pouch is removable it's held in place by two clips one on each side of the bag let's pop those clips off and the back of the bag is also held in place by velcro get that out of there And like most of my other bags, the removable front pouch has belt loops on the back so that it can be used standalone use. So let's get that back on here. All right. So like my other bags, the three tube has belt loops on the back and stainless steel D-rings and stainless steel D-rings are so that you can clip uh, the surf bag, the, the bag to your surf belt so that it doesn't uh, swing around when you're making a cast. Let's open up the three tube bag here. Like my other bags, most of my other bags, this one also has uh, the lure retention ears. I just have them tucked inside the bag right now. Uh, let's see if it's easy to pull this tube set out of here. I can show you what I mean. There we go. Let's get the tube set out. And there's the lure retention ears. And like my other bags that I showed you, hook velcro on the outside of that loop velcro on the outside of the bag and then you can hold the uh the ears out of the way so let's get these i'm just gonna leave them tucked in a lot of people that use this uh the three tube bag a lot of my bags they don't use the uh the ears unless they're swimming with the bag if you're beach walking with it they can just get in your way so i make my bags so that they tuck right into the side flaps of the bags so they're right out of the way so there's the three tube set let's get that back in the bag here okay the three tubes are three inches in diameter and they are eight inches in length and like i've showed you on other videos there is approximately one inch of space between the top of the tube and the top of the bag and that's so that you can hang a lure by the front set of treble hooks. And when you close the flap, the tip of the lure isn't tenting up the main flap. And then, let's get this flap out of the way. You can see that also inside the bag standard are eight bucktail loops. And behind the bucktail loops, there's slot to hang, slots to hang tins. And you've probably heard me say this before, but I build my bucktail loops large enough 
so that if you fish an SP minnow without the tail hook, you can slide one in there. Let me grab one, show you what I mean. Here we go. So I fish my SP minnows without a tail hook, and that's so that I don't throat hook fish. Uh, I may miss a couple small fish, but who cares? I don't want small fish. Let's get big fish. So I just fish with the front hook. I've got some guards on this one, but there you go. You can see how that slides right into the bucktail loop. Let's get that out of there. So they fit in there perfect. So you can carry your SP minnows that way in my bags. And then the front pouch on this is the uh, is built in the standard fashion. It's what I call eel style. Essentially that means that there's nothing in it. It's wide open. So that you can put uh, sluggos in there, you can put rigged eels in there, uh, shads, stuff like that. It'll hold uh, sluggos and shads, rubber shads, up to around nine and a half inches in length. Uh, you can drop a pork rind jar in there or something like that. And standard on the front pouch uh, flap is a buckle. So going to the bottom of the bag, like my other bags, it comes with drainage in there and there are 14 uh, drainage grommets and stainless steel are standard. Uh, I also offer black anodized solid brass Personally, I like the stainless steel, uh, and that's because the uh, the solid brass ones, uh, when the anodization gets scratched off of those, then that material, once it contacts seawater, the brass is going to turn green. So I just like the, the stainless steel because, you know, years from now, they're going to get a little scratched up, but I've never had any issues with tarnishing or anything like that. I've got a bag that I've been using for 10 years, and the stainless steel grommets short of a few scratches, look like the day that I put them in. One more thing, probably the most important thing. On the side of my bags, my buddy lock attachment system. And that's so that you can put accessories on the side of the bag. Uh, a plier sheath, an extra tube, a water bottle holder. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of different accessories that I build uh, that can lock on there. I don't have no, I don't have any loose buddy lock accessories around here right now to show you how it works, but you can refer back to a uh, prior video and you can see um, how the buddy lock system works. So, all right, that pretty much covers the three tube bag. Again, I'm surprised it took so long to get one of these into the, uh, into the lineup for an overview. Um, down at the bottom of the uh, video here, I'll put a link in, and that link will be for my bag quote and order form. And you can see the different bags that I build in there. It's got some dimensions listed, and then it shows all the different options uh, that I offer, uh, such as you know offset stitching color, different trim colors. You know if you want to move the bucktail loops from the main bag down to the front pouch, you can do that. You can get extra bucktail loops in the front pouch extra liter storage underneath the main flap, exterior liter pocket. There's a, a whole bunch of build options uh, that I offer on my bag, on my bag form. So yeah, just fill that out, click submit, and I will get back to you with a detailed quote breakdown. If I see anything crazy in there wonky, I'll just say, okay, this, this looks weird to me, but otherwise, I will get back to you with an email and a link for deposit and get yourself in line for one of my bags. And I hope I can build one for you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your time.